Hey guys and welcome to Katap. So in the today's video I will touch upon something that is very important when it comes to AI copywriting, which is producing accurate, factually correct information, which can be validated and verified. So we all know that even the most popular and modern copywriters like Jasper, for example, are unable to produce factually correct outputs about the current events. And even the famous or infamous ChatGPT is unable to do so. So if I were to go to ChatGPT and ask something about what is the current price of Bitcoin, it would return the following result. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the web. And my training data only goes up until 2021. So here is one of the most prominent shortcomings of ChatGPT, being that its training database only goes up so far. And that's where a credible writer and Katap in general come in handy. So if I wanted to write something and I want to make sure that it is factually correct and it's being based on a credible source, what I can do, say my query is how to use RSI for trading, but I don't know anything about RSI or trading, or I'm uncertain about which sources to trust. And this is what I do. This is a very quick and easy workflow. I'll go to Google. I'll type in the same query. Then I have a few plugins ready like Mossbar or Keywords Everywhere that show the domain authority. And you can see that the first answer on the first page of Google is that of Investopedia, which has an enormous domain rating of 92. So I'll go to this URL, I'll copy it. I'll go back to Katap, paste it over, and then I can generate my outputs based on this URL, making it extremely credible and trustworthy. And here it is, the relative strength index RSI is a popular momentum oscillator, typically plotted beneath the price charge and ranges from zero to a hundred. And this is a perfect answer target for a question of how to use RSI for trading, for example. But if I wanted to make it into a full blown article, I could choose another type of the output, which is listicle. And what listicle does, it actually provides base for the future outline. So we'll see in a second what Katap comes up with. And this is a listicle. Again, each of these steps can be made into a heading. So number one, understand how the RSI works. Know the standard parameters. Look for overbought and oversold conditions. Look for trend reversals. Be aware of the limitations. And again, these can be used as individual H2s or even H3s. But this is for another video. And... Yeah, this is an amazing way of how you can use factually correct, credible information as your outputs and never second guess yourself, which is extremely important. I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe to Katap if you haven't already. Like, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.